Hi guys, it's Rue here from Prepare Camping and today I'm looking at this crimping set I got from Lidl. So here we have the crimping tool itself and you can just use this red bit, you can move that up and down to adjust how much wire you strip off and these jaws here grip the wire. Let me show you a little bit. So you place your wire into there so it gets to the red stopper. Then as you pull down on it, this one cuts through the sleeve whilst this one grabs the wire and separates them. Giving you a nice clean end every single time. I'll just give this a little twist. How are you gonna use this to connect to something else? Well, they thought of that with all the accessories that's in here. So from left to right, we have a heat shrink butt connector, a normal butt connector, a ring connector, fork connector, a bullet connector, then we have a female spade and a male spade and they can just slot into each other. So these are good if you're going to be having connections that are temporary that you can click in and out of each other. These will just go around terminals normally that you then bolt down and these would be your more permanent style fixings. So Excuse the fact that they're different colours for a second, but this colour works better with this size cable. So we just twist that a little bit, and that would simply fit inside there to ensure that it came through. Hopefully not all the way through though. So we'll just trim that off a bit. You see here there's a wire cutter there. That's going nowhere. So, now you've got that fixed on there, that can connect into your, your female end, no problem. So we're just connecting there like that, and then you can separate them again afterwards. So you've got plenty of connection making ability there, but this weekend they're also going to be selling um, spares of all these in little packs as well, and these cool little connector blocks which I got these myself separately from Halfords for my Land Rover project for the lights. I just keep in there the, the handful that I had left over, but I'll definitely be buying some more of them and these other bits and bobs as well. So say there's yeah, this one wire that you wanted to connect another one to, simply place that on. I'll use this half cut for now. And that goes through and you see it doesn't come all the way through. It stops there. There's a little bit of plastic stops it going all the way through. With them two together, simply get a pair of pliers and squeeze down. And that forces that, that plate now connects both those wires together into this one. And then secure, just roll, roll that over and click. Job done. So I just reduce that down because it took off a little bit too much last time. And this time we shall put female onto it. Now normally you'd be careful that you didn't go out through the end there. See there? But it just doesn't really matter for this because this is just a demonstration piece I'm making here. And again, put that into her jaws. Once you're happy with where it is, give it a squeeze. That's nice and solid, that's not coming off. And they just connect into each other like so. And of course the handy thing about these is, you can also separate them. So they're good for, for temporary things. So yeah, it's a great little set. 
like I said, get some of these blocks whilst you're down there as well. They'll have in spares of all the other different connectors in, in store this week. So get yourself to Lidl, get yourself a bargain. Thanks for watching guys. If you've got any questions, chuck them in the box down below. Until next time, take care. Thanks very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, please consider watching this one. And who knows, if you really liked it, subscribe to the channel here. Until next time, take care.